The Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing is an annual four-day event that brings women together to discuss their careers in technology. Now the world's largest gathering of women in computing, this year's Grace Hopper Conference held in Minneapolis, Minnesota attracted more than 4,600 attendees. So TechCrunch TV headed to Minneapolis to find out just what makes Hopper so special. Thanks for having us here. Can you explain uh, why you started the Grace Hopper celebration back in 1994? It was really important to Anita Borg and I to celebrate the achievements of women um, who, who were really advancing technology but often were un not known about. And so that was the catalyst, was a celebration. That's why we called it a celebration. It was, I mean, it was a life-changing experience for me, even though I created it, to walk into a room of all these women, being very excited about the possibilities. In 1994, we had 600 women. And for the first few years, it stayed between 500 and 600. In the last six years or so, it has exploded in growth. For example, last year we had 3,600, and this year we have 4,600, a growth of 27%. And we have seen that kind of growth over the last few years. So the first thing was, and this was Anita and Telly's vision, was let's make it a celebration, not a wine fest, <laughs> okay? Let's not complain that there aren't enough women in technology. Let's celebrate the fact that there are many women who are doing really well in technology. It's, it has an incredibly positive tone. You know, it's mostly known as Hopper. I mean, sometimes it's known as Grace Hopper, but mostly people just say, are you going to Hopper this year? Hmm. Oh, see you, Hopper. <laughs> or, and it's become this place where and you meet people year after year. And of course, in the very beginning, it was only every three years. And then it went every two years. And then I remember the decision to make it be annual. And people are going, could we really get people to come out if it were was annual? Would we get enough people? And of course, the attendance has just boomed. Like, it's just exciting. Like, you, everybody you rub elbows with is doing really amazing, cool things. And it's funny because, you know, the nature of our industry, 90% of the practitioners are men. And so when you think of a software engineer, you think of a guy. And, um, and so it can be sort of easy to psych yourself out as, oh, if I'm female, then I am unlike a person who would be a software engineer. Um, or if, even if you ask, run around and ask people, like, who do you look up to, they'll name like a Mark Zuckerberg or, or you know, the, men's names. And, um, and so what's cool about this conference is that you bump into woman after woman after woman who's like an amazing role model, who's built amazing things into you know, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and definitely software engineers um, who, who've just done outstanding stuff. And it's so easy to picture yourself walking in their shoes. In a weird way, gender actually fades away because gender is no longer the thing that distinguishes you from everybody else. Like, okay, we're all women, so like, what are you? I'm not the woman engineering director. Like, I'm the mobile engineering director. I'm the Facebook engineering director. I'm an artist. I'm a parent. I'm a, you know, like all the other essential qualities about you that are not your gender can come to the fore. I'm coming here, I was still, I thought that I wanted to do cybersecurity, but it opened my eyes more to what other things there is, like web development and other things such as that. So it did open my eyes to more positions that I could do. So this is actually my third time at Grace Harbor, and I keep coming back just because it's such an amazing experience. I keep on, every time I come, I meet so many amazing people, not only just from like, you know, going to panels and listening to them talk, but even just like standing in line for lunch, sitting at a table eating. I've met so many people, and this literally every conversation that I have here with the technical woman who like understands like my passion for technology it's it's just an always amazing conversation it's always really fun to come to a place where you have i think it's 4600 women this year in technology all in the same place uh, especially the first year i came it was shocking you know because i'm used to having a few women on my team sometimes it's just me sometimes there's maybe three of us and to have that times several orders of magnitude is kind of shockingly wonderful and I think for a lot of people, there's a big element of solidarity. Often they are the only woman on their team or they feel very isolated. Even if you know, they're working very productively with their teams, it's kind of a funny feeling to be the only one sometimes. So to suddenly realize that there are many people out there like you, that in fact, you know, you're not different, this is the new norm, is a really wonderful thing for a lot of people. All of us really are excited about the potential for our industry to develop and for technology to become more diverse and more inclusive and have more women in it. I mean, frankly, first of all, because we're all in a, in a battle for talent and we know that there just need to be more computer scientists in the world. And if you look around at where is the next generation of computer scientists going to come from, it's really striking that women are 57% of college degrees and they are 13% of CS majors. And so if we're only drawing from less than half the population of college students, we're really in trouble. 
as an industry uh, for fostering that talent. So I think that our industry really needs to turn this around. Like we need to be the role models and the standard bearers, bearers for getting all college students, regardless of gender, regardless of ethnicity, excited about CS. Um, and Grace Hopper is the event that has made a difference, that, that has put CS on the map for women. And what would you like to see you know, next year, in five years, 10 years from now? Well, I will speak more broadly. I mean, we will continue to grow. We are holding our fourth Grace Hopper celebration in India, in Bangalore, India this year, and we're very excited about that. We expect to see continuing international growth. We are also looking at small regional places. People get together for a single day and build communities that will last over time. Telly Whitney, thank you so much for having us here. Thank you.